this QuickBooks video, we're going to talk a little bit about bank reconciliation problems today. So one problem that people run into is um, I have this little pretend bank statement here. Let me pull that over. There we go. Okay. So we get the statement from the bank, and it says uh, this is our what our beginning balance is for the month of December, which is the date in the uh, sample file. So it's 71,426.53. Okay. Well, let's go to banking, reconcile. This is the account we want to reconcile, our checking account. And our beginning balance is 71,652. Well, we're never going to get to the right ending balance if we don't have the right beginning balance. And, and this should be the same as what's showing on that bank statement. Now, just a little point of interest here. Uh, a lot of people think, well, that beginning balance is what QuickBooks has saved from the last time we reconciled. That's not really the case. What QuickBooks does to come up with this beginning balance, and you can see, you can click in here all you want to, that you cannot edit that number. Well, what QuickBooks is doing is going all the way back to the beginning of this particular account, this chart of accounts, checking account here that we have, and it's adding up all the transactions that have been cleared in all past reconciliations. And if it adds up deposits and check side both, if it adds and subtracts all of those reconciled items, it should come up with the correct beginning balance. So that tells us that most likely, if this beginning balance is wrong, something has happened to one of those reconciled transactions. There could be a couple other little things that could cause that, but not, not very common at all. Almost always, it's going to be some, someone has edited uh, or voided a check or changed a deposit, something like that, which they should never do because it was already a reconciled transaction, but that's what has happened. Now, fortunately, QuickBooks has some little helps for us. Uh, as you see here, there's this button that says Locate Discrepancies. Hey, I'm going to click on that. And it gives us a couple of choices. Look at uh, previous reconciliation reports. That could be handy. We could undo the last reconciliation and do it over again. It also has this discrepancy report. So it's keeping track of things that people have done in the system to change what has already been reconciled. I'm going to click on that and see what's happened since the last reconciliation. Well, last time we reconciled, there was a check. It was marked as cleared, and it was for $225. What's happened to that uh, check now? It's, it's, uh, it's not there anymore, or at least that amount is not there. So that has caused a change for this $225. Well, just to say, if this, if this is here, now if this uh, transaction were deleted, I would have a little bit more trouble um, accessing it. But it's still here, so I'm going to double click on that. And uh, there is the check. Well, you, you see that now the amount is zero, and down here it says void. Someone has voided a check that actually cleared the bank. All right, so what was the change? What was $225? So we know we could go back and look at the reconciliation report from the prior month to uh, confirm that if we wanted to. But we're pretty sure that this check amount should be $225. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to delete or, or wipe out the uh, void notation there in the memo line. And so now I have a $225 check again. Save and close. Yes, I want to save my changes. Now there's nothing on the reconciliation discrepancy report. And if I go back to reconcile the account again, pull my bank statement back over, 71,426.53. I'm off a penny. I'm going to let a penny go. I, I would normally do that. Uh, I would not worry about a penny. So um, 
in essence, the, the, the big change was that voided check. Now, it's not always that easy. The transaction could have been deleted. If it was deleted, we could not have double-clicked on it on that report and just put the amount back in and then resaved it. That was the simplest uh, way something like that could occur. If that transaction had been deleted, I would have to create the check again. The check would not show as clear and it would not correct the balance here if I entered it again because it would be uncleared in QuickBooks. I would have to, perhaps, I, two choices. I could undo the reconciliation that I had done for last month and then do it over again, again clearing that $225 check. Or I could just accept the incorrect beginning balance and I could click on that $225 check, even though it's not on the bank statement this month. That would get me to the right ending balance and would let me uh, complete that process. Now, some people are going to have a little bit of a problem with that because the check now shows as cleared in December when it really cleared in November. So you ought to think about that if that's important to you. If it is, then go back and undo the reconciliation for November then redo it again, uh, clicking off that uh, $225 check that you put back into the system to replace the deleted transaction. If the amount's been edited, which is another thing that can just change the amount back to what it should have been. If you have any, quite, there are a couple of little other things that can happen. Basically, I think this information is going to solve your beginning balance problem 95% of the time. If um, you've run into something else, you have a question about something, leave it in the comments below and I will try to get to those. Thank you.